Let's take a look at the Cirrus SR22. No relation to the SR71 Blackbird. This is a single engine four or five seat composite aircraft from the Cirrus company. It's absolutely gorgeous. Who wouldn't want to fly one of these? Notable for a couple of reasons. One, it's got Lamborghini suicide doors. How cool is that? And two, it was one of the first aircraft to incorporate the whole plane emergency recovery parachute system. CAPS, they call it Cirrus Airframe Parachute System. Yes, that's right. Now you too can land in somebody's garden if you get into a spot of bother. Just pull that parachute out. The aircraft is going to land directly below it. You no control over that and you might make the headlines. The SR20 came before it. The SR22 brings a larger wing, bigger fuel capacity and more power, 310 horsepower. This incredible aircraft has been the world's best-selling general aviation aircraft every year since 2003, with 6,149 units delivered. Where do people get their money from? This aircraft is going to set you back at least half a million, even up to $800,000 for some of the souped-up versions, although you can get some on the second-hand market, judging by our database, for around about $200,000 plus. I guess a lot of people do have the money for it because it is amongst the most produced aircraft of the 21st century. So we know it's got an entire aircraft recovery parachute system installed. Let's have a look at its safety rating. Back in 2011, the Aviation Customer magazine did a study and found that the series overall accident record is better than average for light aircraft. However, and this is the interesting bit, the fatal accident rate was actually worse at 1.6 per 100,000 flight hours, which puts it higher than the United States general aviation rate of 1.2. How can this be if it's got this safety parachute system? Let's have a think. Maybe that includes the fatalities of people barbecuing in their garden as the plane lands on top of them. Hmm, not sure. Let's delve a bit further. So it seemed the answer lied in better training, particularly around the use of this ballistic parachute system. So I guess at the start, with it being such new technology, the ballistic parachute system was actually causing more trouble than saving. However, by the end of 2013, the accident rate had reduced the fatality rate to 1.01, .01, so less than the United States general aviation rate of 1.2. Better training certainly helped. And by 2014, the fatality rate was 0.42 per 100,000 flight hours, which is one of the industry's lowest. So there we go, training, training, training. Right, let's take a look at some specifications and find out exactly how fast this Lamborghini suicide door bad boy really is. Anything from Generation 1 to Generation 4 was a four-seat cabin, but after Generation 5, they introduced a standard five-seat cabin so now you can take your third child onto those family vacations with you. Gross weight, you're looking at 3,600 pounds or 1,600 kilograms. Fuel capacity, 92 gallons or 348 liters. You've got your 310 horsepower engine, three blade propeller. A cruise speed of 183 knots or 211 miles per hour. You're looking at a stall speed of 60 knots or 69 miles per hour and you're going to get about 1,000 nautical miles range out of it. Service ceiling, 17,500 feet, and you've got a rate of climb of 1,270 feet per minute. Okay, let's take a look at some of the different variants and developments over time. The SR22 is an upgrade from the SR20. SR22 was certified in November. It brought a more powerful engine, larger wing, and more fuel capacity. It was also quite unique in its class for bringing the side stick flight controls rather than a traditional yoke and also of course the parachute system. SR22's pre-2003 were fitted as standard with traditional analogue instruments but in 2003 it was one of the first aircraft of its kind to offer a glass cockpit with the multifunctional display. And I guess people like the multifunctional displays because it actually started quite a major transition in general aviation over to the multifunctional panels away from the more traditional analog instruments. If you've got an older SR22 and you fancy the upgrade to the glass cockpit, then don't worry, that is an option. You can actually have a retrofit. Then in 2004, it was time for generation two. 
with some slight tweaks and airframe modifications. Then in 2006, they thought, what the heck, let's slap a turbo on it. So then we ended up with the SR22 Turbo, a factory installed Tornado Alley turbo normalizing upgrade kit. I like the sound of that. This boosts the maximum cruise speed to 211 knots and a top speed of 219 knots and an improved service ceiling of 25,000 feet. 2013 brought generation five with that extra fifth seat and an increased weight of 1,600 kilograms or 3,600 pounds. In 2016, we got Bluetooth, Bluetooth wireless connectivity, brilliant, and a remoteless key entry. Click, click. In 2017, it was time for a few extra major upgrades to the avionics and navigation lights. And in 2019, we got a training variant of the SR22, TRAC, track training variant. And like your standard taxi, it had better and more durable seats in the aircraft, a backseat radio for your backseat pilots, and a simulated retractable landing gear. So you've got the lever, but the gear doesn't actually do anything, which is of course handy in case the student forgets to retract the undercarriage. And this year in 2020, the aircraft got its very own mobile app called the Cirrus IQ. This allows you to tinker at home, much to your wife's annoyance, where you can use your iPad or phone to check your pre-flight status information, such as oxygen levels, battery voltage, oil temperature, and aircraft location, in case you've got to that age and you can't remember where you've left things. And last bit of history, a young chap named Ryan Campbell at the age of 19 became the youngest pilot to fly solo around the world using an SR-22. He had a specially adapted SR-22. He thought, hell with it, I haven't got kids, let's take those back seats out and put in a bigger fuel tank, which of course gave him greater range and allowed him to become the youngest pilot to fly around the world solo. A title which he managed to hold on for almost a year. So that's the SR-22. If you're looking to pick one up and you want to find one for sale, go to findaircraftforsale.com. It's worldwide, focusing on the UK and the United States. It's got a really easy location search so you can find aircraft and parts and things that are very close to you with its radius search. And if you're looking to get your parts license, check out PPL Easy Pass, an app which allows you to study for your pilot's PPL exams and then take some simulated tests. Again, links in the description. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button and make sure you subscribe if you want to check out some more interesting and fun videos about aircraft. Safe flying, everybody.